in your initial tape piece, you, you said you were a, a preschool teacher. Other people trusted you with their children. Why would, would Andy not trust you with your own child? And when they called to see if you worked where you were putting on a uniform and saying you were going to work, they said that you'd been hired but never showed up for work. Um, that was probably when in the beginning when I was going, when I was really struggling with the depression and all of that. I'm not, maybe I just felt like I didn't want to disappoint them. I'm not, I'm not sure what was, what my reasoning was then. Okay, well, on your employment, you, you said you worked at Child's Place Academy, but that place does not exist in your area. So we checked Children's Palace Child's Academy. Palace. Yes, Children's Palace. Yeah. I, and, I haven't. And they said that you're not an employee. So we checked Children's Place Christmas Academy. They said you're not an employee. We checked Children's Place Family Daycare, 460 mile round trip. The Children's Palace, Children's Palace, yes. I was supposed to start this past Monday, but then when I was contacted about Dr. Phil, that got pushed back. Well, they say you're not an employee. Oh, well, I'm not. I mean, I got hired in every, everything. I did all my paperwork, and I was, I was supposed to start this past Monday. Well, we actually called that place and talked to them, and they say you're not an employee now or in the future. They, they don't have any record of you being an employee. Uh, well, that's interesting because that's not that's not what I discussed with them. Why were you putting on your uniform and leaving and pretending to have a job when you didn't? When I was staying with them, like I said, I think I just didn't want to disappoint them um, in the fact that I wasn't actually working. Were you taking Caitlin's clothes and wearing them to go out and party? Um. Well, there was an occasion, occasions where I would borrow her clothes, yes, but I don't, I, I would not go out and party. I'm not sure why that's being said. Did you take Caitlin's debit card when you moved out the second time? Oh, so that, I knew that was going to be brought up. And that was just when we were having our spats near the end of um, me living there. I just kind of did that out of frustration, and I never used it or I never attempted to use it until I was, I logged, I had it logged into my Uber account and accidentally went to the first card that was on there. There's actually a fraud department text. Did you purchase or try to purchase $24.50 Uber cash? The Uber account has an unrecognized charge that comes from a separate account, shares a payment method, account holder's first name is Megan. That was yes, a fraud right. alert that was sent out when you tried to use the card. Right, that was when I had I had it registered on my Uber account. Why was it registered to your Uber account? I thought we had worked this out, but that yes, that it did happen. Well, you said you never. No. You, you said you, you, you took you, the card during a spat, but you never used it. I never. No, she wrote down the card, the card in a spat Uber at Great Wolf yeah. Lodge, is what you told me. You told me that you wrote it right. down in your notes. My credit and debit card, you wrote down to have in your notes. So why was it saved to your Uber? I would have never given it to you for your Uber if you had to write it down. It was. I had logged it into the Uber account when I first when I first done it when I first did the card and I got the information and then weeks later I had tried to get an Uber and it registered her card first. So you did use the card? Yeah, well, it, yes, it was attempted, but it was, it was actually an accident. I didn't mean to use the card.